this so we're flowing in the spirit and one thing I want to tell you we're going to give you some strategies today as a disciple but if you will leave out of here today you got something to do you got somewhere to go one of the strategies you need to know is to keep in your mouth the name of the one that gave you victory if you have
See, some people talk about stuff that got to do with the devil. The devil ain't even fooling with you. You want to know why? Because he know he can keep you home if your pantyhose run. He know if your car break, I can't make it to that. But folks that's hungry and thirsty and chasing after God, he after you. He after you. Let me use somebody right now that chases after God. Mother Cookie right here. Mother Cookie, you 92. 91. Now, I went with Miss Mary to go pick up Mother Cookie one day. She's standing at the gate waiting for us. She got a hunger and a thirst after righteousness. This lady will get on the bus. I know some folk won't come to church and they call you. Right? She 91. Hunger and th And you want to know why she looks so good? The glory of the Lord is upon her because she hungers and thirsts. As long as you live, 
God. Meditate on that for a second. No one will be able to stand against you as long as you live. For I will be with you as I was with Moses. Hear God saying to you, I will be with you as I was with Moses. I will be with you as I was with Moses. I will be with you as I was with Moses. I will be with you as I was with Moses. And I will not fail you or abandon you. Be strong and courageous. For you are the one that will lead these people to possess all the land. I swore to their ancestors I will give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the instructions Moses gave to you. And do not deviate from them, turning either to the right or the left. Remember that. Then you will be successful in everything you do. And our key verse for the day, study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night so that you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord God is with you wherever you go. Let us pray. Lord God, we praise you that you are already here in this praise place. We thank you that we feel your presence and you are saturating us with your anointing. I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. I pray, O oh God, that no flesh will glory in your presence, but that you alone will get the glory. And I pray that you will raise up disciples today, warriors today, ready to go out into the world and speak to a dying nation about the Lord God who reigns and lives. It is in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that I pray and all the people of God said amen. Have a seat if you can. Give honor and glory to the true and the living God who rules and reigns over us all. And Jesus Christ, my Savior and my Lord. I give honor to the shepherd of this house, overseer Victor DeMonte. And thank God that he's keeping him while he is in Israel. Thank God for all you ministers and leaders in the gospel. All of our leadership of First Mount Pleasant. Give honor to uh, Pastor Huey, my wonderful brother in Christ. And all of you. So we're going to real quickly look at some strategies. And I asked God, and I had mentioned this to uh, Elder Eric. I said, you know, I'm trying to come up with a title. You know, strategies for a sermon. So all this. And God said, just give him strategies. You ain't got to give all that fancy stuff. Just give him strategies. So I'm giving it to you like he told me to give it to you. Amen. Amen. So in this scripture, this key verse, uh, in the King James, the book of law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it both day and night and obey everything therein, that you may observe to do all according that is written therein, and you shall, and it shall make your way prosperous, you shall have good success. Uh, I love that verse, I learned it when I was in high school, because I wanted to be successful, how many people want to be successful? And I saw this, I said, you can have good success. I said, well, Lord, that's what I want to do. When we look at Joshua, Joshua was a bad brother. Joshua, we already read, Joshua was the son of Nun. He was from the tribe of Ephraim. But Joshua was Moses' assistant. And Joshua was fearless to a certain extent. Joshua was the one that was in the front of the battle. Joshua was the one that nobody would stick with it like Joshua. Now, you all have heard the story of the spies that went to survey the land. It was 10 of them. And only two of them came back and said, <clears throat> excuse me, and said, oh yeah, there's giants there, but we can take them. It was Joshua and Caleb, just two of them. They came back. Guess who were the only ones to go into the promised land? Joshua and Caleb. Whole generation died because they were afraid and then they were disobeying God. Well, today we're going to look, we're going to use Joshua as an example of how these strategies we can use to be disciples. How many people want to be a successful disciple? I don't just want to be a disciple, I want to succeed at it. Okay, well the first thing that we learned from Joshua, if we're going to be a successful disciple, is we need to pick a side. Pick a side. Now, here's the thing. Um, I, a lot of you all, some of you all are football fans, amen. I always use football, but I like football. How, how many people cheer for Atlanta? Okay, amen. How many cheer for Atlanta? So we want to use Atlanta. So I'm going to pull some of y'all over here. Now, Pastor Nikki, she and her phone, but come on. 
She had a phone trying to do, do the Lord's work. She, but she didn't know I was going to pull it. So Nikki, she got rid of black women, so she went with the Falcons. And um, Lord knows I don't like the Patriots, but let's pretend I was with the Patriots. Now, Nikki been cheering for the Falcons all year long. Now, let's pretend they was winning games, okay? So I cheer. Just praise the Lord. All right. But they don't make it to the Super Bowl. We do. And then Nikki come over here and start cheering for the Patriots. So, it, it, right. it, now, so Nikki's just a fan. She ain't a follower. Jesus don't need no fans. He needs some followers. Have a seat. He needs some followers. Folk that will be with him when it's good and when it's bad. Amen. He needs some folk that won't back down when folks start talking about what God you serve. You praising that white Jesus. What you doing? Or people that talk about Jesus not loving everybody. What? what? He needs you to pick a side. And Joshua in the, in the 24th chapter said, Choose ye this day who you will serve. So what was happening? Y'all know how those Israelites are. I told y'all about the Israelites before. One minute they was with God. The next minute they was worshiping idols. One minute they was with God. The next minute they were worshiping idols. Well, Joshua says in chapter 24, he says, well, wait a minute now. You either going to serve the idols from Egypt. You going to serve the idols from before we cross that river. You going to serve the idols of these Amorites. Or you going to serve the true and living God? Pick one. So what God is saying to you today, pick one. Pick me or pick whatever else you want to do. But you need to pick one. Amen? Well, I already picked one, Pastor Bird. Really? Have you? The one you cheer for is the one you love. The one you talk about the most is the one you love. Do you talk more about what happened on Wendy Williams or do you talk more about this book? Do you talk more about what happened in the meeting last week or do you talk more about this book? And what God is doing in your life? Brothers, do you talk more about the game or do you talk about, and I love football too, but do you talk more about the game? Who playing, who moved to, what happened to Colin Kaepernick or you talk about what God doing in your life? Do another brother know you say? Or you talk about Jesus? They're like, what, you come to church? Really? All right, man. Pick a side. Young people, pick a side. Choose ye this day who you will serve. You can't serve the club and Jesus too. You can't serve Jimmy and Johnny and Susie and Mary and Jesus too. What love Jesus? Well, who the first one you talking to in the morning? Jesus or I'm on my phone. Ooh, Lord, what are you doing today? Ooh, let me check out his crayon. What are you doing today? Did he call her? Did he check out him? Who pick a side? And when you pick a side, it's not going to be easy all the time. You'll be in the minority most of the time. Serving Christ ain't easy. That's a lie somebody told He Now, Jesus didn't tell that lie. Now, I'm a preacher. I can say that. We done told you that lie. It's going to be wonderful. Come on and join, and it's going to be great. No, Jesus said, you'll suffer for a while. They'll talk about you like they talked about 